Um, my name is Allison Turner and I'm a biological technician at Assateague Island. What we need to do is to stabilize the population. I should say we need to reduce the population from its current levels down to um, a stable population that ranges between 80 and 100. It, that's our goal. We, we started out with 28 and that number reached up over 170 and that was back around 2000-2001. And it's been steadily increasing since about 1968. We've seen a lot of pretty significant um, grazing and trampling effects from that many horses. And um, that affects all the other animals that live out on the island. So we needed to find a balance between a, a healthy uh, horse population, genetically healthy, and also um, improving health of the habitat. What we needed to do um, to, to manage the population out here was something that would be hands-off since they are a wild free-roaming population. So um, what we ended up doing was using a method of birth control to um, stabilize the population, to bring it down and stabilize it. So we uh, contracept the mares once a year. Each mare uh, gets her first treatment when she's two years old. So uh, as far as scheduling which mares are to be treated, uh, two, three, and four-year-olds all get treated. Then they're removed from treatment until they produce a foal. And um, right now, uh, while we're still trying to reduce the population, um, they're allowed to have one living foal. And um, what that means is that the foal needs to stand a nurse, and then she's considered to have produced her one foal, and she'll go on for life after that point. These are on dart rifle, which allows us to fire a dart to inject the vaccine from a distance. And um, we can fire at a range from anywhere from 25 to 50 meters. If it's really windy, we would never shoot at 50 meters for accuracy, but um, it, we have that range. We don't need to round the horses up. It's essentially no stress. Um, the dart hits, the animal pops out, no worse than getting a, a horse fly bite, and then we can leave her alone for a year. So it's, it's hands off. We allow them to go on about their business. Doesn't affect the um, social structure of the, of the herd since it's not hormonal. So it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good system. Another advantage of this, uh, this type of contraceptive is that it's a very small volume, so we can use a, a one cc dart. We use a one and a half inch needle because it gives a good deep injection into the muscle of the hindquarters. And um, when it hits the horse, the impact sets off a little cap charge in the back of the dart, injects the vaccine, and it pops the dart right back out so I can go over and pick it up. So after I have my list of which mares need to be treated, um, then I'll, I'll go out and I just need to find them. And they could be anywhere. They're, they're free roaming. There's no fencing that keeps them out of specific areas of the park. So I just need to, to go out and um, find them. It's a 27 mile um, section of island. They could be anywhere on there. Sometimes I see them pretty quickly. Other times I need to spend a lot of hours, sometimes days trying to find them. And in most cases, I need to follow them around for uh, maybe a, a couple hours on average until I can get within range and get a shot. As we don't shoot with the horses are running or uh, doing anything more than at most a very slow walk. Uh, just to be safe to make sure we uh, hit the horse in the right place. I probably darted maybe 1,200 horses. It's, it's been really effective uh, and the newer dart design has been, um, so far has been, been good. Uh, it can be very hard sometimes and frustrating but it's, it's great working out on the island. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good job and we'll always have the horses out here, so we'll need to manage them to make sure that they do stay in balance with the population.